In a video filmed for the Poetry Translation Centre, Yu Yo Yo says, My words come from life, but they are not all realistic things. It should go without saying, but no matter how much we're told not to assume the speaker of the poem is the poet, people inevitably will. As frustrating as it is, often writing can be all the more interesting for how it plays with, dodges or subverts this. A.K. Blakemore says, The surreality of poetry gives you a level of plausible deniability, particularly as women writers. In Sleepwalking, Yu Yo Yo writes, On the ride out to sleep, you had relations with the ferry boat. Will this result in pregnancy? The girls all circadian hormone, but you're not cramping up or impelled to lie down. With the absurd and brilliant image of sex with the ferry boat, she's letting herself off the hook. We cannot, as readers, take this to be a real-world sexual encounter, and yet we're still presented with emotions that might be attached to one. Darren Reese jones asserts that we must read the confessional poem as an aesthetic of truth. The feeling of detachment, worry that she is defective in some way, as she fails to sync up with the other girls, feels true as the aesthetic of truth, even if it never happened. In her essay on the metaphysical eye, Dorothea Lasky writes about an eye that could be so close to the self and so far away from it at the same time that the reader can't help but see a real self in it. This self, according to Dorothea Lasky, manipulates the reader and his or her expectations to such a degree that the reader is left both full and empty after having encountered it. Using the poetics of dreams, or rather of sleepwalking, which is much more rooted to the body, Yu Yo Yo is able to escape notions of the poet as speaker, poem as memoir, and explore a departure from the perceived self. You built a bridge out of sorrow, she writes, and crossed it to give your body to someone lustless. Afterward, found it easier to pin the sorrow down. I love this idea that you might sleep with someone dull in order to have a physical experience to pin your sorrow to. The use of the second person here, allowing her to distance the self even more. In Bachelard's The Poetics of Reverie, he suggests that a dream can be so strange it seems that another subject has come to dream with us. Yu Yo Yo implicates us. As readers, we become the subject. You built a bridge. Yu Yo Yo has laid a trap as we peer at the sleepwalking body of the poem, closely searching for truth. We fall in. As readers, we become occupants of the tenantless body. Thank you.